Breaking news from Hong Kong, reports confirm major investment moves as the CD approves Bitcoin ETFs with institutional acceptance on the rise, experts anticipate significant market shifts. Stay tuned for more updates on this groundbreaking development. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share, and let's start. And we're starting off with, Bitcoin is creating a massive consolidation pattern. The breakout to 100,000 is so close. Prepare for it. The new Bitcoin ETFs bring price targets of 91,000 at bear market bottom and 650,000 at bull market top once ETF investors have fully deployed according to asset manager recommendations. These are very conservative numbers. Bitcoin will beat gold cap when ETFs have completed their role. No, these are not targets for this cycle and it takes a long time for the capital deployments to complete. So back of the envelope calculations, 100 trillion dollars managed by the asset managers, they generally have a 2% allocation recommendation see fidelity. This number will rise over time but today it's a 2 trillion allocation into Bitcoin. Bitcoin currently holds 561 million dollars of investment. We can measure this on chain and new total will bring it to 2 2.5 uh, trillion dollars of investment. We can use MVRV to calculate market cap versus money invested, and this ratio is 5x in the bull market tops and 0.7x in bear market bottoms. This translates to capitalization uh, to uh, capitalizations of 12.8 trillion and 1.8 trillion respectively, or 650,000 and 91,000 per coin. I've excluded other self custody inflows, so this is absolutely a lower bound estimation. Self custody inflows are way bigger right now. Bitcoin will certainly exceed gold capitalization by the time asset manager capital has de uh, deployed, and gold went on a 12 year bull run when its ETF was approved. Now it's Bitcoin's turn. Uh, watch huge Bitcoin ETF ad on the electronic billboard in Hong Kong. Just send it. As well as what we have here uh, next, since launching on January 10th, US ETFs, even including all GBDC sales, have amassed 222,000 Bitcoin in just 65 trading days. That's uh, 3,415 Bitcoin daily. Now Hong Kong ETFs join the game. Just as the weak uh, hands have folded and miners have half uh, as much to sell, game on, we are ready for the jump. Hong Kong spot Bitcoin ETF approval is another major milestone in Bitcoin's march towards the $1 million per coin. Two global superpowers are now battling over a finite Bitcoin supply. Meanwhile, severe in debt once again looks like a garbage fire as a global yield surged the start of the week. The wheels are falling off the fiat clown car or is it the doors flying off the fiat plane? Either way, the idea of severe in debt is the de facto store of value is done and dusted. But there are still plenty of TradFi analysts and chart jokies that will take years to recognize this fact. As they look at this week's end sell off and conclude that Bitcoin isn't a store of value or a geopolitical hatch. My take? Bitcoin is the only asset trading with 24.24/7 liquidity, and if a small subset of holders will uh, fill their pants because of something they saw on their screen, they're going to be able to liquidate their Bitcoin holdings, but they'll do it at a discount. The deep represents their price that tiny minority of salad-handed holders are willing to sell at. Meanwhile, those with some in uh, intestinal fortitude and an ounce, uh, ounce of wisdom was, will recognize the deep for what it is and end up with more Bitcoin in the end. The people that had conviction at 3000 per coin will continue to be right at $1 million per coin. And that analyst uh, that ham and ha instead of just getting some exposure to the best performing assets of all time will continue to huff and puff over one minute candles that make them feel better about mixing out on a 120% gains over the past year. Such is the way of the coin. The next stop, breaking Norway to become the first country in Europe to heavily regulate the uh, data centers as Norway will require every data center to report that what they are doing so it will be easier to for local governments to say no to Bitcoin mining. Leave it to Norway to kill any and all opportunities and innovation in the country. We are governed by morons, literally the least educated politicians in that world. And Bitcoin is a dollar for dollar the 
cheapest way to make renewables viable and to reduce emissions. Powering carbon scrubbers is fine, but Bitcoin, with the added benefits of supporting an open free monetary system while reducing emissions, is not. And the next one, an old Bitcoin miner wallet from 2010 just moved 50 Bitcoin to Coinbase. The owner of the wallet hodled all the way from 20 cents to $66,000. What a legend. Also, just in Germany's largest federal bank, LBBW, to provide Bitcoin and crypto custody services to institutional customers. Funding rates looks like this, uh, while Bitcoin sits at 66,000, open interest reduced by about 30% greedy traders have been washed out, while we simply stick to the plan. In the end, this is nothing more than an uncomfortable speed bump. Was the iron attack a buy the news even for Bitcoin? Late Saturday, CET markets were expecting an outbreak of World War III, but did market overreact? If you look at the structure of Bitcoin, it now seems like we have a major bull flag in play. And in fact, we may have seen the bottom of the final move lower, and there's still a risk that we could see another strong sell off before Bitcoin moves higher towards Ultima High. That risk will be eliminated as price moves above 71,000. Black or red pass, time will show. New week and new weekly close above the autumn high of 2021. All the panic in the last few days was completely in vain, and it just shows how unimportant short-term price action is, and it's often just noise. The bull market is far from over. Breaking news, Hong Kong just shook the crypto world with a groundbreaking move, Spot Bitcoin and Ather ETFs approved. So Hong Kong has approved Spot Bitcoin and Ather exchange traded funds from several asset managers including China Asset Management, Harvest Global, Becerra and Hashkey Capital. These ETFs will allow investors to directly invest in Bitcoin and Ather, enhancing asset allocations opportunities. Collaborations. Asset managers are partnering with various entities such as OSL and BOCY, uh, BOCI International to issue these ETFs. Launch timeline. While approval has been granted, the exact timeline for the launch of these ETFs has not been disclosed. Significant, the approval of these ETFs reinforces Hong Kong's position as an international financial center and a hub for virtual assets. Impact, this move aims to position Hong Kong as a leading hub for virtual assets, offering new investment avenues. The next stop, what do we have here is basically, let's look at the price. So we got back from 60,000 uh, price which we had at a drop like basically uh, it shows some coin market cap that uh, it's 61,500 but in most exchanges it was around 60,000 the lowest position we had and now we are back to 66,000 and continuing to recover with all the news we're getting and hopefully we will see the 71,500 where a lot of short positions are located around 1.8 billion as we looked in the previous video so if you're interested in more content on this channel about the Bitcoin and news don't forget to subscribe like and share. See you in the next one and peace.